The Raptors returned home last night with a big win over the Suns, and today the Leafs will host the Kraken at Scotiabank Arena after Tuesday's wild shootout win. With more on these top stories, let's go to our Lindsay Dunn. Hey, Lindsay. Hey, how are you today? I'm great. Listen, the Raptors pulled off a big win over the streaking Suns. What are your takeaways from last night? Well, I don't think most Raptors fans had on their bingo card this season that they would beat the Suns. Going into it, I spoke to a bunch of fans before the game, and they said that they thought the Raptors were going to be absolutely blown out by future Hall of Famer Kevin Durant and Devin Booker. But hey, it was one of the most impressive wins by the Raptors this season. You saw Scotty Barnes have another great fourth quarter and said he, you know, he brings that dog out in him. Pascal Siakam was all over, as well as Precious Achua. It was a huge win for them, and especially a bounce back from what we saw on Tuesday night when they lost to the Nets in Brooklyn in that final two minutes. So Raptors fans are pretty happy today. All right, so Raptors improved to 9-10 on the season. They said 10th in the East. What's your overall assessment of the team so far? Well, that's a good question because you're about a month into the season now and I see a lot of things we were seeing over the last couple of seasons. Sometimes there'd be defensive lapses, but what's new this year and great this year is their head coach, Darko Ryakovich. He really believes in this team and you're seeing a lot more players get chances. Like we've seen more Malachi Flynn minutes this year than we had in the last couple, which I know some Raptors fans aren't too happy with, but you have a coach that completely believes in this team because last year at this time, I was actually in Orlando and it seemed like there was a lot of turmoil between the coaching staff at the time with Nick Nurse with each other and then also the team. It seems like there's a real unity and chemistry building in this team. So I think they've already been heavily routed as underdogs going into this season. A lot of people not believing them outside of Toronto, but I think they have a lot to prove and we're going to see a lot of bas great basketball ahead from them still to come. There is a little bit of that Darko. If you believe it, the winds will come kind of feeling. I want to move on to the Leafs though. They host the Seattle Kraken tonight at Scotiabank Arena. They're coming off that just bananas shootout win on Tuesday night in which a game that like everyone, including the players, thought that they lost. Is this the type of win that can jumpstart their season? Absolutely, and I think it's also a reminder for the team especially, but fans don't leave a game early no matter what sport it is because you never know what can happen. The Leafs and fans still in shock, like you said, over that banana wins, but the Leafs, I think there's so much potential for this team, and you know, everyone starts that parade route planning when the season begins. Could they get there this year? I don't know, but you're right. That could get a real great jump start, and the fact that they beat the Florida Panthers, a team that eliminated them from the second round of the playoffs last season before the game Matthew Nye saying how they had a bad taste in their mouth because of what they did to the Leafs last season. It's giving them fuel to the fire and tonight they're taking on the Kraken for the first time this season a team that has a terrible You're road record so you know they could get a bunch of wins in a row for the Leafs and really get this momentum going and you saw Sheldon Keefe also switch the lineups going into the game against the Panthers you know splitting up Matthews and uh, Mitch Marner rather together and it's just going to be interesting to see how those lines if they'll continue but I can tell you for certain tonight that Mark Giordano will not be in the game. He left the game against the Panthers with a hand injury and he's been ruled out for tonight's game and then after that he's listed as day to day. So Mel here's hoping like you said that that will kind of kickstart jumpstart some more momentum for the Leafs going into the rest of the season. And you know the story here this week with Toronto sports is really just you can expect the unexpected and as Lindsay pointed out stick around until the very end. You never know what could happen. Thanks for that, Lindsay. Anytime.